Hello everyone, I am Cool Guy. welcome back, and today we're going to be reviewing the Joker's Wild Scout Rifle, the Night Watch. It's a tough one to give a solid review for. The Night Watch itself is fine, but there's a lot of things out of its control, and we'll explore those throughout the review. This is a 200 RPM Scout, the same as Mita Multi-Tool, same as some old favorites like Mananan. There's a lot to talk about here, the overall effectiveness of scout rifles, the place they have in PvE and PvP, if this scout's even worth grinding for. And before we jump into it, let's talk about my role, the one that you'll be seeing in the background gameplay. It has chambered compensator or extended barrel, accurized rounds or appended mag. Its two main perks are snapshot explosive payload, so this is a Mananan 2.0. For a 200 RPM scout, it has a lightweight frame, superb handling, you move faster when this weapon's equipped. These lightweight frames got a buff back in 2.1.4, they got a 5% buff, and also all scout rifles got a 10% damage increase. Slowly but surely, they're getting better in the overall sandbox, and in certain areas of the game, they might be in their best position they've ever been since the game's launched. There's 9 total legendary 200 RPM scouts, only 2 are kinetic, this one and the purpose from Trials of the Nine, so basically just this one. There are only two that can have random rolls, Nightwatch and Kinetic, and the Energy Vouch Safe from Dreaming City. This makes Nightwatch the only random Kinetic roll, and this gives Nightwatch some bonus points. It also has some really good base stats. It has a range of 43, stability of 41, handling of 68, reload of 62, aim assist of 69, and a recoil direction stat of 57. Though mine has snapshot, the base handling on it is really high. It has great ADS and overall handling at base for a 200 RPM. It's a good strength for this scout. It has a base scope with a 2 times zoom, pretty standard on scouts. For the perk pool, it can roll with some extremely good perk combinations, it's like a saving grace for the weapon. For the barrel, we have 9 options. On a scout, these aren't too important over your main perks. Various ones are going to up your range and stability, usually you just go with the best option, most go for upping the stability when they can, especially console users. It's not like a hand cannon where you want more range, or a pulse rifle where you want better recoil direction, you just kind of work with what you have. And with the scout, the same goes for the magazine, the starting mag of 16 is really good. Some really like drop mag, that's a good option. Some like upping their magazine a little bit more than 16. Most of the time you're gonna go for one of those things, a big range perk like accurized rounds or a big stability perk like steady rounds. Steady rounds usually takes the top spot on something like this. For its main perks, the two main nodes roll five perks apiece. In the first node, we have subsistence. Decent, some love it, some hate it. Reserve capacity is reduced, but kills partially reload the magazine from reserves. It can pair really well with Rampage. Outlaw, always good. Rapid hit, it's the better version. It has a hint of Zen moment and a hint of Outlaw paired with it. It's a top tier perk. Then we have snapshot and threat detector. And that's good for PVE and sometimes PVP. For the second node, we have Explosive Payload, Rampage, Moving Target, Demolitionist, and that's the one where kills generate grenade energy. When you use your grenade and throw it, it fully reloads the weapon. And then Multi-Kill Clip, Reloading Grants increase damage based on the number of rapid kills beforehand. This is the best base damage perk in the game for PvE. It scales times 1 is 33.3%, times 2 is 66.6, and times 3 is 100% or 2 times damage. Best damage perk in the game. The overall role that you want to look for is going to be Rapid Hit, Multi-Kill Clip. That makes this a very special scout rifle. You have 16 rounds or more, you get fast reloads, a stable shot as your landing shots, and a 5 second timer duration for Multi-Kill Clip. This is the role that you want, and of course Outlaw can sub in for Rapid Hit, but Rapid Hit's really what you want. And secondly, you want Rapid Hit or Outlaw with Rampage. For PvP, the role that you want changes up a little bit, because Multi-Kill Clip skills differently in the Crucible, and most times Kill Clip is just way better than Multi-Kill Clip there. This one doesn't have regular kill clip, so we look elsewhere. For node 1, look for Outlaw, Rapid Hit, or Snapshot. In node 2, Explosive Payload, Moving Target, and Rampage. Any pairing from these three will give you a very serviceable scout in the Crucible. Overall, Demolitionist is okay, let's talk about it for a second. The best part is you get a full mag refill once you throw your grenade. It's a watered down version of Grenadier from Destiny 1 as far as grenade regeneration. The Night Watch does have a curated role with Extended Mag, Overflow, Explosive Payload, and I'm a big, big fan of Overflow. It's a great perk, but I would still take Multi-Kill Clip over that. Overflow is exclusive to the curated role, so that's the only way you can get that perk. Here's the deal. Bungie has said due to how safe scout rifles are, the range that you have, the ease of use, being out of harm's way, they haven't received big changes. Back in Destiny 1, I was a PvE scout user, through and through, Chaos Dogma, Hung Jury, Fang of Ir Ute, Vision of Confluence, and looking back, I really love them. In Destiny 2, there aren't too many that channel that Destiny 1 feel, still to this day. They were so good. Now in Destiny 2, a lot of players see that hand cannons do just everything better, Midnight Coup, Spare Rations with Rampage. A lot of scouts just don't have the damage in PvE. Sure, there are outliers when you get certain perks or some exotics like Polaris Lance, but they've never really hit that Destiny 1 power, and it's a shame. 
Even the Pinnacle Scout Oxygen has issues. For what it is, it's good, but it has a very low floor instead of a high ceiling, if that makes sense. It could be way better especially taking into account what they were in Destiny 1. So the Night Watch here in Destiny 2 PvE kind of suffers the same things as other scouts. The one exception would be that multi-kill clip roll. That's like coveted for the weapon. If you take anything from this review, it's you want to try to get this perk on the scout rifle. That's the roll that's doing double damage at max stack. Then it could be worthwhile because you have 16 rounds. You'll definitely have that 5 second duration to get through the mag. Otherwise, it doesn't have too good of effectiveness. It is effective though if you play to it like they want you to. Safe, use the mag, use the range, it's fine then. But in a lot of areas, even in this law sector, like I'm on patrol right now. I have explosive rounds and that could be something to do with it, but in its simplest terms, it's not even one-shotting ads. That's the level of damage that we're talking about. Even if I do have explosive rounds on here, that's the fringe that we're lying on. That is just barely taking them out. A hand cannon will, no problem. Most weapons will, no problem. These 200s and scouts are just in a weird spot. Scouts in general, even in Reckoning. I like playing that and I play it a lot, but the thing is, you have your range in that mag and that's it. Honestly, I don't recommend the scout in higher level PvE activities. Most weapons do it way better from other scouts to hand cannons to four burst pulse rifles. And there are very few scouts that are good in higher level play. And as I stated at the start, the Night Watch is fine. It's great. It's fundamentally sound, but it's just the current state of a lot of the scout rifles in the game. It's a shame. If you have fun with it and you like it a lot, do your thing. There's just almost countless options that just perform way better. For PvP, there are a couple things to consider. The TTK is at 0.9 seconds. With that small buff that they had, it had nothing to do with the TTK, but it had everything to do with ease of use. The buff allows you to do three headshots, one body shot now. Before, you had to land all four headshots. Currently, this is the best spot these 200s have ever been in Destiny 2 PvP. They have a 1.8 second body time to kill. With scout rifles, you play to them. The maps in Destiny 2 were made for 4v4 and it shows. We have Midtown, Equinox, Vostok, things like that. Those play to a scout's strength. Most maps though, your average engagement distance is playing to pulses, hand cannons, and various other weapons. If you wanted to, you could use them on a smaller map like Javelin, but you don't see too many scouts in general in PvP, and there's a reason for that. The times have changed. The 180s and 200s were very popular in early Destiny 2. Now the 150s are in the best spot. Those have a 0.8 second time to kill, and those are more in line with most weapons in the game. On console with most maps and with most engagements, your current engagement range is well within Lunatal and Not Forgotten. You get eaten alive using something like Nightwatch. When Not Forgotten and Lunas Howe get a change, scouts like this and other weapons are going to stand a better chance in the sandbox, but currently it's a tough sell. Again, it's really nothing against the Nightwatch. If you enjoy it, go right ahead. I personally found a lot of issues, even dueling at its proper range. To me, it puts you in a tough spot. With it being single fire, you get flinched quite a bit. On small maps, you have to play your lanes, but you're still in Bygone's range, Ace of Spades range, Blast Furnace, and so on. On large maps like Midtown, you could do a little bit better. But if another player is using a scout, like 90% of the time, they're using a 150. And if they're using a 150, especially the main two, Jade Rabbit, Polaris Lance, Zen Moment, good stability, they can out TTK you. It's a very tough spot. You can do well with any weapon for sure if you play to their strength, but I have found no matter what I did, how smart I played, I got caught eventually, be it by a Luna where I stood no chance or a Jade that has more range and so on. For the masterwork, be on the lookout for stability, and for the mod, there's actually a couple of really good ones that work for a scout rifle. Radar booster, radar tuner. A sleeper pick is going to be sprint grip to pull up a little bit faster in case you're out there caught in sprint, and finally targeting adjuster. All of them are going to be good options. Hopefully one day scouts get a much bigger buff in all areas of the game. In PvE, they haven't hit home for me yet. Taking two shots sometimes to down an ad gets tiring. But as I started with, this has been a very tough weapon to review. I really like it, but it just doesn't work well, if that makes sense. And it's not the weapon's fault, it's just how things are. I don't see too many Night Watches in the Crucible, and when I do, it looks like a clear test game for the player. Maybe they just got it as a drop from the Reckoning or a Bounty, they're trying it out for that game. It does drop from Tier 2 or Tier 3 on the weeks with the Knights in Reckoning. Your best bet's going to be Tier 2, that way the loot pulls a little bit smaller for a better chance at it. And that week, a lot of players are going for the shotgun anyway, so if this drops, give it a quick look to see if it has multi-kill clip. In conclusion, Nightwatch is good at base, it's fun to use, it's just not that effective. For a lot of players, that's an issue. In PvP, you play to the strength the best that you can. You can come out on top and have good games, but aside from the Mida, the 200 RPMs are in a weird spot. 
I do know that there's a lot of scout users in Destiny, even though they come up short in some areas, and those scout users generally go exotic or with a special role like the Raidler's Box Breathing Scout. And Nightwatch can get into your loadout again with the right role. So if you're new to the channel, remember to hit the subscribe button, comment, and like if you guys see fit. What do you think about Nightwatch? What roles do you have? And if you have it, is that multi-kill clip role make it that much better? Let's talk about it. Thank you guys for watching, and until the next one, I am Cool Guy.